Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Hammer. I'm a professor in the Stanford University School of Medicine. I'd like to talk with you today about the vagus nerve and why it's important in our health. Our nervous system has many components, including one called the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system might also be called the automatic nervous system because it's operating without us even having to think about it. And the autonomic nervous system is divided into the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system, and these keep each other in balance. We're all familiar with the sympathetic nervous system because when activated, it causes the fight or flight response. This is also called the acute stress response. It consists of hormones being secreted in our bodies, such as adrenaline and cortisol. And these hormones cause our heart rate to increase, our blood pressure to increase, our blood sugar to increase, for example. And while these changes may be beneficial when we're being chased by a predator, in other words, when there's an actual threat, they are all too often activated in our bodies just by our thoughts, even when no actual threat is present. So we can activate the sympathetic nervous system and acute stress response by thinking of a meeting we have with our boss or perhaps a conflict with a friend or a spouse, or even just thinking about the list of things we have to do today or tomorrow. So this acute stress response gets activated commonly and results in cardiovascular and hormonal changes that are adaptive when we're actually having a threat, but not adaptive when there is no actual threat and only our thoughts are causing these changes. It's important for us to be resilient, and that means to have the ability to bring these changes back down to baseline, to bring our heart rate down, our blood pressure down, and our blood sugar down. We do this by activating the parasympathetic nervous system, in particular the vagus nerve, which is the primary nerve in the parasympathetic nervous system. The vagus nerve is a nerve that originates at the base of our brain and travels down our neck into our chest and abdomen. It says it branches out to our eyes, the mucous membranes in our throat and our mouth, to our heart, lungs, digestive system, and other organs. And the vagus nerve, therefore, neutralizes the effects of the acute stress response. And this is so important because if we can't neutralize those effects of the acute stress response, then that turns into something called chronic stress. Our heart rate is elevated, our blood pressure is elevated, our blood sugar is elevated over longer periods of time. And this predisposes us to the four major chronic diseases associated with aging. Cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome, central nervous system disorders like dementia, and even cancer. So it's vitally important that we learn how to bring the acute stress response we experience so frequently back to baseline. We can do this by intentionally activating the vagus nerve. How can we do that? Well, there are three simple ways to do it I'd like to discuss with you that don't require any special technology or equipment. And they are through the use of ice, pressure, and breathing. Let's first consider the use of ice. There are two ways we can use ice to activate the vagus nerve. The first one is just to take an ice pack that we keep in the freezer and hold it over our face, including our eyes and our cheeks. When we do this, we elicit something called the diving reflex, which is a reflex that is important for aquatic mammals that go to deep depths in the water uh, that slows their breathing, slows their heart rate, and conserves oxygen. So we as mammals also have this diving reflex, and we can elicit it by holding an ice pack over our eyes and our face for several minutes. Another way we can use ice to activate the vagus nerve is by submerging ourselves into cold water. So this might include uh, an ice water bath in our bathtub or just very cold water in our bathtub, or even submerging ourselves in a nearby cold body of water if we have access to one. Again, the cold response may initially activate the sympathetic nervous system and the acute stress response since it's such a shock to our bodies. But after a brief period of time, we acclimate to that. And then we see the diving reflex once more 
where our heart rate comes down, our blood pressure comes down, our blood sugar comes down. So it's very important for us to neutralize this acute stress response when it is not adaptive. And one way we can do this is with ice. Next, we'll talk about the use of pressure and then the use of intentional breathing, which is, of course, always accessible to us. Thanks for listening.